Hi fellas, I'm going to run through how these models work, how I've done them so far. Um, I tried to make the weapons control the animations, which would make it much easier to swap um, swap hands swap hands in and out, because then you'd only have to code in the animations for the weapons, and you wouldn't have to code in any extra animations for each set of hands that you put in. Uh, that system would be good, but it doesn't quite work because I couldn't get Studio Model to use defined bones properly. So the problem is that if a model isn't exported with a face assigned to each bone, Studio Model just dumps the bones, so you don't have the animation data there that you need. I'll just show you how far I got doing that. Keep in mind it wasn't going to work. So I've got uh, in this in this instance you'd load in the hatchet or the uh, the weapon first because the weapon loads oh, I'll just unload that model uh, unload so the hatchet or the tool would be loaded in first and then the hands would be loaded in as the weapon so there you go load weapon because it's attached essentially I'm not sure exactly how it works but it would work in theory so you load the hands in as a weapon so the axe is uh, defining the animations here. So if I was to go idle, I've got that to work in idle. See that works all fine, but the problem is as soon as you go to another another animation, it goes back to being screwy, and it's just the way that the bones are made up. Um, also, another a fallback of this system is that Studio Model won't um, keep all the bones defined in the axe so what I had to do was create a new face and assign it to each bone and then scale it down so somewhere in here is about 50 faces assigned to each bone that aren't actually doing anything so I've just scaled them down that that would that wouldn't have to be done if Studio Model wouldn't dump the vertices but I can't figure out what they're doing it for anyway that system would be great It'd be perfect because when as soon as you want to put in a new weapon, you just have to model a new weapon and animate the weapon and hands, but not export the hands with the animation. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So the f system that I've made up now is to use the weapon as the load weapon and the hands as the base model. So if I go load model, oh well, I go unload weapon first, load model. Hands, and you can see the katana's in there already. Unload that. So the hands would be that's the base, base model. Oh, and then if you load the weapon in, um, let's go. Uh, go the donut, V donut. So you can see the donut there working all fine. And that works through all the animations as well. Um, I'll load in another one. With the katana, the idle animation is really crappy. It, he like cuts his thumb off. I've tweaked it to get as good looking as I can get it but he still slices himself up. That's just a problem. Um, you'd have to code in a new animation for the idol. And to do that, you'd have to code it into the hands, and then that would mean that you'd have to compile, recompile every single hand model again, rather than just recompiling the katana model. If you wanted to go to the other system, which is far better, you'd have to remake the rig, remake all the animations, and that would take a lot of time. So I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> anyway, that's how it works. So hopefully, um, hopefully you can access all the skins for the weapons um, through code because they're all there. They've all got ten skin slots, and uh, the hands. I haven't done skin slots for the hands, or have I? No, I haven't. But they can be put in easily. Um, so have a look at that. See if you can get that shit working in engine. And if you can, then we'll just do that. Cool.